Hey, class foray. So this week we're still learning about insects and I have a book called Creepy Crawlies A to Z. So it's a lot of different bugs in here that we're going to learn about. The first page is A. Ant. In this alphabet of creepy crawlies, some look scary, some are hairy, but all of them are really cool. So A for ant. You see the ant? It's carrying something. The tiny ant is really strong. It can lift a caterpillar supper that's bigger than it is. That's a caterpillar. Oh my goodness. B. Banana slug. A banana slug is as yellow as a banana peel and just as slippery that helps it slide away from hungry birds. Have you ever seen a banana slug? I've never seen a yellow slug. I saw some slugs the other day when it was raining. C is for cicada. A cicada pops its hard belly in and out to make a big loud buzz. I always hear cicadas in the summer. Have you ever seen a cicada shell? They come out of their shell and they shed and that's when they have the wings. D is for dragonfly. That's a pretty dragonfly. The different wing color. That's really nice. Looks painted almost. The dragonfly is fast. It can nab a mosquito meal while zooming through the air. Wow. They are pretty fast. And they buzz around. E is for earthworm. And there are so many worms out now. If you dig around in your garden and dig outside, all the earthworms are out and about. Count the rings on this earthworm. These are muscles that stretch to help the earthworm move. This earthworm has a lot of wings. I think too many rings. Too many to count. So we won't count those rings in the earthworm. F is for flea. Ooh, we don't want any fleas. Sometimes animals get fleas. A flea is really as small as a freckle, but it could jump a foot in the air. They're very tiny. G is for glowworm. Look at that. It glows like a lightning bug. This glowworm has a built-in flashlight. It's a green light. Helps it find a mate at night. Look at that. I've never seen a glowworm. I'm not sure where they live, but I've seen lightning bugs. I look forward to seeing the lightning bugs in the summer. H is for horsefly. Oh my goodness, look at those eyes. If you had as many eye parts as a horsefly, you'd have 60,000 itty bitty eyes. That is a lot of eyes. So all those little dots are eyes. Flies can see everything. That's why flies are so fast. They always see you. I is for inchworm. And those little guys, they're coming out too. Have you guys seen any caterpillars or inchworms? Now that the weather is getting warmer, you're going to see more of these guys. I always see them hanging from trees. And they're, the reason why they're called an inch because they're only an inch. What's an inchworm's trick for hiding from hungry birds? It acts like a twig. A twig is a branch. So see how he's blending in? He looks like a twig. J is for jumping spiders. Jump, jump, jump. This spider can jump forward or backwards to catch insects for its lunch. I've seen some jumping spiders, but the little ones, I've seen little teeny ones. K is for catadid. To tell a catadid a secret, whisper in its legs. That's where its ears are. 
His ears are in his legs. Have you ever heard of that? Wow. That is quite interesting. I wonder if we can locate its ears. Hmm. Have you ever seen this kind of bug? It kind of looks like a grasshopper. Or, you know what? It looks like those leaf bugs that we used to find in the playground. Those were always so cool to look at. L is for ladybug. I love ladybugs. They're so cool. It's always fun to count their little spots. How many do you see on this one? I only see one, two, and it looks like it has a stripe. How does a ladybug keep enemies away? It squirts smelly poison from its knees. Wow, I never knew that. Did you guys know that? So that's how it keeps any bug from going near them. And they help gardens grow. M is for mosquito. A mosquito's mouth works like a needle. It jabs your skin and sucks up blood. That's why I don't like mosquitoes. They make us itchy. They usually come out in the summer. That's why it's good that spiders eat them and birds. So then we don't have as many mosquitoes. N is for no see them. Can you see them? They are really tiny. You can barely see these no see but you can sure feel their itchy bite. Wow, they bite. They're very hard to see. There are so many on them. So many on that leaf. O is for oil beetle. What do an oil beetle's bright red stripes mean? Don't eat me, I'm poison. So usually when a bug is like bright, frogs are like that too. The brighter the frog, like have you ever seen those blue frogs when you go to the zoo or an aquarium? The blue frogs means they're poisonous. P is for praying mantis. Can you see it? A praying mantis hugs a bug and it's strong arms. But they look like they're praying. That's why they're called the praying mantis. They look like they have their arms together and they're praying. We have some that live around near us. They're rare to find though. I don't often see them. They can fly too. Q is for queen bee. That must be the queen bee in the middle where the arrow is pointing. This queen bee is boss of the beehive. She's the only one who lays eggs in up to 200,000 in one year. She's the boss of the hive. R is for roach. Ooh, I do not like roaches. Blink your eye. That's how long it would take a roach to run across the page. It's the insect running champ. So if we blinked our eye, it would get all across this page. They are really fast. S is for spittle bug. Look at all that foam that bug made. What does the spittle bug use to build its home? A foamy blob of its own spit. Yuck. You see all that? It looks like soap. T is for tarantula. A tarantula sure is hairy. If it's scared, it throws hairballs at its enemies. Hairballs? Oh my goodness. U is for unicorn caterpillar. Look at that. It has a horn like a unicorn. This hungry caterpillar has a pointy horn just like a unicorn. V is for vinegar fly. Vinegar may smell stinky to you, but it's the vinegar fly's favorite food. Vinegar is such a strong smell. Look at that. It almost looks like the same color as vinegar. W is for walking stick. Can you see the bug in this picture? 
The walking stick is the world's longest insect. It is as long as a man's shoe. Oh my goodness, that is a big bug. X is for Stitticus. It's a fancy name for a shy little crab spider to find one try peeking under an old log. So maybe they live near us. He does kind of look like a crab. We're almost done. What comes after X? Y. Y is for a yellow spotted millipede. So many legs. How many can you count on this yellow spotted millipede? That is a lot of legs. I don't know if I can count all those legs. What's the last letter? There's one more. Z. Z is for zebra spider. He has some stripes on him. Wow, he almost doesn't look like he has so many legs, but his legs are really close together. There's two right here. There's two there. So two plus two equals four. And then there's two over here. And two over here, so two plus two equals four. So four plus four equals eight. The zebra spider is a super web maker. What letter can you see in the silky web? Oh, he made a letter in the web. It looks like a letter Z. Now you've met some creepy crawlies from A to Z. Which ones were hairy, which ones were looked scary, and which ones did you like the best? I liked the ladybug. I liked the ladybug. Fun facts. Can you tell which creepy crawlies in this book are insects? Insects have six legs and three body parts. Many insects smell with their feelers, mouths, and even with their feet. An insect has a hard covering like a skeleton on the outside of its body. But where is your skeleton? Our skeleton is inside, under our skin. In a single square mile of a park, there are more bugs than people in the world. Those bugs are so little. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about insects this week. And I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know if you find any bugs outside. And maybe we can talk about it and figure out what they are. If you take a picture and I can give you some fun facts. I hope to hear you from you guys soon. Have a great day.